G'day aspiring engineers. Today we're going to cover two things, appearance and physical material in Fusion 360. Welcome to Future Engineering. The future starts now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the appearance and the physical material on these two models that we've been working on in the last few tutorials. This is number six in a series of intermediate tutorials in Fusion 360. You're going to find the appearance and physical material in a few different places. You can click on any component in the tree. There's physical material and appearance. It's also on the modifier menu, physical material and appearance. And we can right click on just about anything and find appearance and certainly properties. This model is the Geneva mechanism that we downloaded from GrabCAD. This one was in step file format. Actually, we only got the indexing wheel and in the top-down assembly tutorial, we made all of the other parts of this mechanism. This one is the one that came from GrabCAD and it's in SolidWorks format. We also put the hand crank on that thing. I'll do this one first. You might remember that while I was assembling this and making the various parts, there was a thing that we accessed on the inspect menu and down the bottom here it says component color cycling toggle and you see that turns on the colors in the browser over on the left hand side here all of the components have been assigned a color that's only for the purpose of making it easy for you when you're actually assembling this thing and working on it you see that it's got it in the feature timeline down below as well so you can see exactly which components were worked on at which stage and this component color cycling toggle has a keyboard shortcut and it's shift n and so that's a good one to know. It's really just an aid for modeling. So I'm going to keep that turned off. All right, let's look at the properties of a few of these things. This is the base and properties. Here we have them. It's got the area, the density, the mass, the volume. It says physical material steel. That's a default, which you set in your preferences. Let's go to preferences and just check out where that is. Under General, Material, got the Physical Material category, Physical Material Name. This is the material that's going to be the default whenever you open up a new document in Fusion 360. If you're going to be doing nothing but 3D printing on a fused filament 3D printer, then you might change this to your most common 3D printing plastic. Maybe it's PLA or ABS. But I'm just going to keep mine on steel for now. Uh, and so all of the parts that we made for this mechanism we're one at a time and uh, the default material was steel and that's what we've got. Can you see how these properties might be of some use while you're designing something? Also you see they've got this uh, thing here, copy to clipboard. Click on that, open up Word for Windows, Control V and there's all of the properties and that could be useful for a part of your specification when you're working on a design. Alrighty, so back to this Geneva mechanism. A little bit of colour goes a long way, doesn't it? It really helps. It makes it look a lot better. Well, maybe for this thing, I'm keeping it as steel. Maybe I want to have this thing powder coated, send it away and get it done. And so I'm going to do it in a couple of different colours. What's my favourite colours? I think you know that. It's in the thumbnails of my videos. And so when a part's powder coated, it's got an appearance. It's been painted. And powder coating, by the way, is a sort of a polymer coating which has been melted onto the substrate. I'm going to get a couple of different colors on these steel parts and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this physical material as steel and I'm going to change the appearance by adding some color. So what we can do is we can uh, right click and go to appearance or we can use the keyboard shortcut which is A, A for appearance. And here it is. So let's activate the base and isolate it so that we see just the base. Hit A for appearance. Change the size of the dialog bottom right hand corner allows you to, uh, to change. I mentioned that uh, powder coating is like a polymer coating which is melted onto the substrate. So let's have a look in plastic. Not really that interesting. Let's have a look at paint. In fact, glossy paint. So there's a few colors there and uh, they're nice and glossy. They look like plastic powder coating so we're gonna go with that. Yellow is one that I like, so I'm going to put that into this design. Then I'm going to right click, duplicate it, and then edit it. And I want to have a, you guessed it, a purple color. So there's purple. And I'm going to go for a saturated color that is at the top of the, uh, top of the color picker here. 
not quite the darkest purple lighten it off just a little bit so that it stands out off a dark background perhaps and there's our nice purple let's just have a look at this yellow might edit that make sure that it's fully saturated lighten it up a little bit perhaps there we go now the way this works is that you can do the whole component we've got this radio button toggled here for bodies and components we've got the base selected i can drag that yellow onto there or Control z to undo that a for appearance again this time i'm going to change to faces Let's see now. Powder coating has a thickness, and so I don't want to have that in the holes where I've got a shaft running. So I'm just going to put this on a number of different faces. So there's all of the faces, except where the shafts and pins are rotating in the base. I'm going to save that. Go to the drive wheel. Activate it. Isolate it. A for appearance. And just a few faces there where it needs to be touching up against some other part. That'll do. Save it. Unisolate. For the key we might just put the red on the very top and the bottom. You can see that the indexing wheel is a linked part and so what we need to do in order to make changes to the indexing wheel we have to open up the indexing wheel and work on the indexing wheel. The assembly file only has a link to it, it doesn't have everything in the assembly. So we go back to the indexing wheel file itself, open that up and then we can make some changes to its appearance. And you can see that I've got the yellow and the purple. So I want to do faces here, not the entire component. And that'll do. Then I'm going to go back to the top-down assembly. You'll see that this little icon in the top here has a little warning sign on it and it says get all the latest. Just click on that once, wait a moment, and then the, the view updates. And what we might do is go back and change the, the drive wheel to yellow. Lastly the shaft, just the faces, and I'm going to do the top and bottom face. Okay, that's looking a lot better now. Let's go to the joints. Remember it's the Revolute 5 where we have the ability to animate the model. That's looking okay. Let's do the next one.
again we can turn the color cycling toggle off and on let's begin with the base you can see that there's a bit of color on this thing and the translation from SolidWorks obviously wasn't perfect and so there's a bit that's colored and a bit that isn't and uh, that was the only one that had any appearance attached to the part so let's get rid of that isolate it A for appearance what we'll do is we'll drag this steel onto the component and remove all the other appearances okay that'll do and I'm going to save that so let's see what this is made out of in properties we can see that the physical material is steel and that's what I expect because I've got steel set as the default material in preferences. Let's change this from steel to PLA because we might want to 3D print this. So let's go to physical material and then uh, under plastic let's have a look here. It's all in alphabetical order PPS, PDFE but no PLA as you can see. Well let's look in some of the other libraries Oh look, there's an additive material library. Surely it'll be in there. Let's have a look at that. No, only two in there. However, it may be that we can modify one of these so that it's got the properties of PLA. Let's have a look at that. It's on the modify menu and it's manage materials. Okay, this is interesting. Here's the complete library. Here's metal. Lots of steels in here. And uh, here's plastic. So there's a number of them. PLA is not included. Here's the additive material and the plastic with only two entries. So if you're looking for PLA and there is no PLA in any of the libraries in Fusion 360, then we can take something that should be pretty close and we can change this one. Now we can't do this because you mouse over it in the Fusion 360 additive material library and you get this padlock. It's locked. You can't change it. But there is a way. Right click add to favorites and then go to favorites and there it is you've moved it in there duplicate it and we can rename it let's call it PLA and we'll call it generic so we can go to somewhere on the internet and we can find out what the properties are here when we mouse over it you don't get the padlock and there's this little icon on the far right click on that opens up the properties so it's got the identity where you can see the name and um, manufacturer information it does have the appearance we're not going to mess with that at this stage we're just going to mess with the physical properties actually it's got thermal properties mechanical and strength properties here let's see what we can find on the internet if we go to makeitfrom.com this is a free database there's plenty of them out there but some of them you have to pay for well this one's got lots of stuff and it looks pretty good metals polymers, ceramics, reference. Now if you know what you're looking for you can go through uh, thermoplastics to polyester plastics to PLA, there it is and there's all the properties of PLA. Most of what we need is here but if you don't know exactly what you're looking for you can go to the, actually I'll go, I'll go back uh, to the start and here's where the search function is under menu and uh, let's just type in PLA please wait here it is. So it takes you right to that page. And so here's some thermal properties. Here are some other material properties. So you've got and enough there. Let's uh, see what we can do. Let's add that in here. And you notice that this is editable. So what I'm going to do is fast forward and fill this in. There we go. Apply. And OK. And so we have generic PLA in the favorites now. So let's go and make some changes. Modify physical material. Let's go to favorites. There's the PLA generic. What I'm going to do is put that in this design and uh, drag it onto each one of the, the bodies. And it's got that natural yucky plastic color, the appearance that was part of Rilson Invent Natural. That's okay with me. What we've done is we've given it the properties of PLA. And as you know, PLA comes in all colors. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to just give it a bit of a color. And you can guess what my favorite colors are. A for appearance. Oh, look, I've got some of them already here. So 
put that on there, put the purple one on the other one, and uh, perhaps we'll make the base yellow as well. So uh, there's the SolidWorks Geneva mechanism. It's got 3D printed PLA as the material. It's got the properties of that PLA. Let's have a look here in properties. Physical material PLA. The density is the density of plastic. All right, so let's just make sure that the, that the joints are working. So there we go, folks. Actually, you might be wondering what you use these things for, physical material and appearance. So with appearance, they get used in promotional material and renderings. I recommend that you go and have a look at uh, Eric Strebel's work on rendering. I'll put the link for this video in the description. And you see this is a, a whiskey bottle and it looks fabulous. That's what rendering is all about and that's what appearance is for. Now this one is another video by Tyler Beck of Tech and Espresso. Let's subscribe to that. And what he's doing in this video is showing you the very basics, the very fundamentals of simulation. And in Fusion 360, when you're looking at physical material, then uh, this is exactly what physical material is for. It's for setting up simulations. It's got nothing to do with appearance. You've got a, uh, a pretty color plot there with rainbow colors on it, but that's not what it's about. It's actually telling you some quantities here, which are to do with the performance of your part. I hope you're enjoying these intermediate tutorials. Give me some feedback if I'm going too fast or if I'm leaving out too many things. Have you been through my 16 basic tutorials? They're right here on my channel and they're arranged in playlists. And they take you from a first time beginner and each video builds on the one before them. I've taught thousands of people how to use CAD. Are you planning to learn CAD or improve your skills? This is why you should subscribe and get the notifications. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.